I was pretty much ready to make that transition. If you put your heart to anything, as a matter of fact, there is nothing you cannot learn. I started getting online, researching, reading up stuff, watching movies, doing online courses and all of that. So immediately I got the job as an editor of Ambo. I mean, that was the first time I could, you know, earn six figures. And, you know, step by step, step by step, from there I got onto Tinsel, got to do Apprentice Africa, got to start shooting my movies and all that. And, you know, the, the whole thing is, 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 is for me. We have an idea now, so at least it's a starting point. All right, writing, acting, what else in the creative? We have the directors, we have okay. the producers, okay. we have continuity minders, we have, from the technical units, we have the cameramen, we have, there's all sorts. We have the costumers, we have the makeup artists, you know, so there are loads and loads of things you can do there. Depends on what your flair is. Okay, so what's the route to all of these uh, areas, whether in technical or in the content uh, production? Um, like Saji has said and like I said, there's something you probably would have pulled from both of us. It's personal development. We identified what we wanted to do. We decided to go and do personal homework at home. Yes. And then afterwards, we both went out for internship. Yes. Because I mentioned that I went to work for free. He also you went to work for he free. Went to work for free. So you first of all identify, okay, what is this talent that I have? Let me develop myself at home. Go through Google. Like I say, a lot of people carry Blackberry phones and all they do is BBM and, and chat and all of that. There's a whole lot you can do with your Blackberry. Sitting on your Blackberry, you can decide, okay, I love, um, I, I love doing makeup. I spend a lot of time on my makeup at home. Let me think about, maybe I could become a makeup artist. Start Googling makeup artists, film industry, makeup artists, whatever. Check out the makeup on films. Check out how, who, they make, who made up the actors on maybe a big Hollywood film you like or whatever. From then on, you know, read up about it, read up a lot about it. Know the lingo, know the terms, know the jargon, know everything. And when you feel to an extent that you know something, then you can come out and say, okay, who do I know in the industry? Can you help me get onto a particular set? Let me watch how it's done. You know, from watching how it's done to a very large extent, you begin to get a broader idea and a correlation between what you've read and researched and what actually happens. From then on, if you're good, you can actually pick up a career. Like Soji went from earning nothing to earning a six-figure salary mm -hmm. from all that he had developed and taught himself. Mm. So that for me is, 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 the, is the first step, personal development and then internship. What do you need to take your business to the next level? Expert advice? Affordable financing? State-of-the-art technology? A partner you can trust. At First Bank, we can help with that. Visit sme.firstbanknigeria.com to find out how we can help you grow your business. First Bank. I, I think both of you have already said so much and you've given so much of yourself and uh, I'm sure there are many questions that people would like to ask you. You spoke about writing and acting but you didn't talk much about directing and I'm kind of interested in that aspect. Thank you. Okay, first of all about directing, I didn't want to go too much into the technical aspect of it seeing as I mean I was talking about um, the content aspect of it and all that. Directing for me it's it's right now become my first passion. It's a humongous um, work, humongous profession, because you are like the middle point. You are in control of everything. You control all the other departments of production, from the costumer to the actor to everyone. You bring everything together. Whatever production it is you're directing, you hold the vision. You determine what the movie or the TV show or whatever it is will look like. So everyone is running on your vision. So imagine what happens if you're a director with no vision. That means the whole production runs amok. So it is you, you hold everything together. So to a very large extent, you must know everything about everybody's job. That's the most challenging thing about directing. You need to learn every, little things about everybody's job, about acting, about, 
all the technicals, you must know about the cameras, you must know what everything and everybody can do as a director. So if you find that you, like, you know, like myself, you're intrigued by the process of filmmaking or you're intrigued by the process of movie making and how it happens and how it's put together, the first thing you need to do is to go and learn. The first thing you need to do is to go and read up about it and research about it and find out if it's really something you're interested in. Because if you are not, you could really mess it up. So if it's not something you're, you have a flair for, you're interested in, do not go into it. If you research and you find, okay, this is not for me, best you take something else you're interested in because it, it consumes you. It's, it's, it's a whole passion. You must be into it to get out something that's great. That's why people win awards for their films. It's because they get immersed and consumed in what they're doing and they put themselves into it and then pe other people are able to see their works and say, wow, this is great. This is beyond the ordinary. It's only when you do things beyond the ordinary that you can get awards. If you do what everybody does, then it's commonplace and nobody recognizes it as anything that is you know, marvelous or great, which is why I would say follow your passion. Whatever it is you care about the most or you feel a burning desire for, that's what you should follow. And that's where you will become famous, that's where you become known, that's where you become somebody you know, in, in the world. So that's why I didn't talk about directing, but you know, that's the part of it. You need to have a passion for it and a flair for it. And you need to be ready to do the work because it's a lot of work. You want to add something to that because you're a director okay, as well? Let me, let, let me add something to it. And I usually advise, um, let me speak to you personally. I advise you, you need, it's best you go through a department yes. to get to the director's yeah, position. That's the top seat. Whether you like it or not, you, you cannot get it. there without, understand, without understanding All another that department. So it, it's either you go through the technical side or you go through the creative side. Even as a makeup artist, you can be a director. Because you've been working on faces so long, you know what emotions look like. Do you understand what I'm saying? So as a costumer, you know, you've been working on costumes, so you know how the body moves. So you need to understand these things. You can't just say, okay, I want to be a director without understanding the fundamentals of how a film works. So I'll advise you, um, even if you studied, for instance, um, electro, um, engineering, electrical engineering, you need to understand how to connect lights. These are all like what you guys did in school. It's called, the job is called a gaffer. That's why I said earlier that can you really, because it's like walking to the bank and say, I want to be the CEO. <laughs> How? <laughs> From where? So people, you, you can study in school, but, they, but you I need don't to believe there's a directing course. I don't believe. Yeah. You need to work your way to exactly. the top. I agree with you. That's, that's the point I'm making, that it would be hard for you to yes. say, I, want, I think uh, being the director in a production set from what you've described is something you arrive at after you've gained a good understanding of all of the other, the of, of the entire process. And then you can be effective because you know what to expect. So if they're not giving it to you, you can yeah. readily uh, respond to that. Soji, yes. what else would you really want them to know about the technical part of it and the areas, the different areas of the technical part that you believe that they should be able to go into? Okay. Um, one thing I've, um, I've come to understand about the young Nigerians is we have this um, bandwagon thing. Everybody wants to do what is raining or what seems to be, to be a, an instant success. What I would advise you is, first of all, you, only you, not your parents, not your pastor, can tell yourself the truth. So you need to first of all tell yourself the truth. Is this what you want to do? Am I good at it? You will know. You will know. You might not be the best, but you will know if you have the talent. So let's not deceive ourselves. You will know. So that aside, um, as regards the technical side of production, we have the gaffer. Some of you have very steady hands. You can hold the camera and you will think it's on the tripod. That is skill. Some of you are really good with electricals. Some of you can fix radio sets. You can dissect that camera, for instance, and fix it. But you don't know that there is that demand for that skill. So Holding the camera? Steady. Steady hands. Yes. Okay, that's one. Two? The gaffer, like I earlier talked about, the gaffer who is who the electrician is on the set. The electrician on the set, yeah. okay. Some of you are good with these electricals. It's okay. the skills. I mean, if you, anything goes wrong, you know what happens when you play with electricity. It's a skill. Okay. 
You have the DOP, obviously. You have the audio. What's DOP? Obviously. Don't use your technical terms. Don't forget we don't know. <laughs> so you have to break it down. What's DOP? The director of photography. Who is uh -huh. in charge of? Director of photography. Yes. On the set. On the set. What does he do? He's in charge of how the lights and the camera settings come together to give you a picture. Okay. Who is a likely DOP? Now I'm using A your likely term. DOP is someone that has the eye. Someone that understands how light interacts with objects. So there, there's so much you can do in production. There's so much. You know, a lot of you girls, I mean, you, you know how to dress yourselves to look good. You're you are natural stylists. Who says you can't be a costume designer on set? So it's not about looking for a job. Create the job for yourself. What does a director of photography earn on a set? So, um, for, but a DOP, a director of photography, ranging from a music video to a TV commercial, for instance, a TV commercial for a DOP could earn uh, from as low as 80,000 to as high as 150,000. Uh, Is that per, sh per shoot? It's usually a one day shoot. Okay. So, multiple days, you, you have to renegotiate. So, um, okay. yeah, that's a DOP. But it comes with a lot of skill. It's not something you can wake up and. So 80,000 a day, calculate, not bad at all. Times 30 days, if he gets job 30 days, <laughs> even he only gets for 10 days, 800,000 in a month, a year, that comes to what? 9.6 million, that's his income. Not bad at all. Soji and Tokwe, thank you very, very much for sharing. Thank you. Are you a creative person? Are you looking for the right partner to help you transform your talent into your business? We can help with that. First Bank SME Connect. Visit sme.firstbanknigeria.com to find out more. First Bank. Are you a Nigerian? Do you have a business idea but lack the initial capital? AGDC, in partnership with Lagos State Government, the Chair Center Group, founded by Mrs. Ibukun Aoshika, presents through an online contest, Ignite Ideas Contest, to give seed capital of 100,000 Naira each to 1,100 people and one-year business mentorship. There is more. You also get access to credit facility from one of the biggest banks in the country. All you have to do is log on to www.igniteideas.org to register and fill the application form. You should also follow them on their social media pages, Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Ignite Ideas Contest Twitter at Ignite Contest Hurry and give your business ideas some life Temeka, tell me what you're doing. I got to know about uh, Ignite AGDC, the one that took place in the Bamako uh, estate okay. through a friend. He sent me an SMS saying I should go and register. At first I was um, a bit adamant, but he kept on pressing, go, go, go. You owe that to your friend, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> yeah, so I eventually uh, got to register and uh, took part in the sessions. But prior that time, I. I resigned from an advertising agency. I used to work as a, a creative uh, director. I designed graphics and uh, other uh, creative endeavors for the agency. I resigned and I was like, um, let me say two or three months old, staying at home okay. and uh, trying to get things done, but no direction, nobody to tell you, this is the way to do oh. this, this is the way to do that. So that very training came at the right time for me too. I came and you know my eyes opened to a lot of possibilities and things that I never imagined. So this is how I can actually do things and it will work for me. Okay, I got my paper and I jotted things down and you know I, I applied all those things after the training, after the training and it has really helped and worked for me. Right now I've registered my company, Aborigin right. Media, and 
One thing also I learned from the Ignite uh, session that time was, you know, how to be courageous, bold, you know, to face because, like you said, it's not going to be easy. But you have to be bold and courageous, and you have to keep on pushing. I said pushing. that too many times. For yes, any of you to it keeps ringing in my head. It kept on ringing in my head. So. I took it upon myself. I went to CAC myself. I registered it myself okay, because I want right. to pass through all those things. Process. And, you know, I saw myself as the little Awoshika. I don't mind me. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I said, let me go through all this process and learn because it's a learning process. It's a continuum. So it's registered. And um, like I said, it's, uh, it's, it's a creative enterprise that focuses on uh, design and storytelling. Mm -hmm. When I talk about design graphics and everything that has to do with design, architecture okay. and um, so a lot, product, okay. product designs and all that. Okay. And uh, on the part of storytelling, that's filmmaking, filmmaking most especially and documentary. Um, on that very part, it's, it's a new part that I delved into because uh, my field of profession in school is fine and applied arts. I'm a creative okay. artist too, okay. uh, but uh, specializing in painting. But when I left school and you know, saw the whole wide world, I decided there are other ways I can, you know, channel these creative energies in other ways. And uh, motion pictures happens to be one of the areas I find very, very interesting. So I asked myself, how can I channel these creative abilities into the motion uh, pictures? And it's also one of the things that made me to delve into that aspect of the media. And uh, as I speak right now, I've been able to shoot one of my first music videos. Yeah, great. And, uh, it had its own challenges. Yeah. Let me share with you. It's something that when I remember, I feel like crying. <laughs> the very first day we went to shoot, after shooting the whole scenes, because everything has to be drafted on um, a storyboard, the scene you want to shoot, I finished shooting, we've called it a wrap, and everybody, you know, we are just jubilating. Then when I went home, <laughs> lo and behold, the memory card oh, oh my couldn't God. open. All the footages we are lost. I sat down, I started asking myself some questions. Guy, yeah. <laughs> are you sure you want to do this thing? Don't you want to go back and take a job? You know, a lot of questions kept coming. Actually, that point was a deciding time for me because I asked myself a lot of pertinent questions and going through all the experiences I gathered in the Ignite, like you said, it's not going to be easy. I said, it's not going to be easy. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it again. I called the whole crew again and we went to set again and we shot and it came out and you know it's, it's one of the challenges i didn't <laughs> like you. i told you there'll be days you feel like giving up on everything yes, exactly but then if you're doing what you love to do it's the reason why you will stay with it so when everybody runs away you don't because it's not just for money or for fame that you're doing what you're doing it's because that's what you love to do and once you set your mind to it Having the ability to stay with it, to see it through, is what separates the wheat from the chaff. So it's also important to understand you do it at your own pace, not at other people's pace. And doing it at your pace does not make you run ahead of yourself to destruction. Because sometimes also in business, people are, keep watching other people. And because of that, they run ahead of their own time. They do things they're not ready for and then they destroy everything they could have done just by not pacing themselves, themselves in their own way. They're slow and steady. They're those that will move fast and slow down towards the end. They're all sort of paces. Yeah. What is important is your pace. You find your own rhythm. You find your own pace. You took your time, but you found what you love. You had a reason to run back, but you know, I'm sure I talked about looking at the mirror many times and yeah. saying to yourself, guy, you're not giving up. And now you're happy. I'm happy. You've done the first one? Yes, I've done the yeah. first one and I've had other jobs, you know, that are out there. I've shot uh, a couple of documentaries for uh, an oil servicing company in Lekki. Uh, I'm also working on my first short film presently. Okay. And I'll be also be shooting um, behind the scenes video for a movie production that's coming up next month. Okay. So all those things are gradually coming paying together. Up. It's paying up and it's coming together, like you said. And I can see the future is so bright that I don't even want to sleep again. I want to <laughs> <laughs> sleep. It's, it's, it's so bright. I, I, I'm so excited. I wake up in the morning with this joy and enthusiasm because I've seen where I'm going to and it's so but, clear. But that's good. And I'm so happy. You know, that's, that's mainly because you're doing something you love. 
It's so easy to be excited about something you love. Of course, you will still find challenges in business never end. I say that to everyone. If you've been in business for 10 years, the kind of problems you're having will be different from the problem of the guy who is just starting. The guy who has been in business for 20 years, his challenges are different. But guess what? You can always remember where you're coming from. You can remember the results you've been able to achieve. And you have a sense of where you're going to. And so when you get to those hurdles, you cross the rivers, you climb over the mountains, you jump, you walk through the valleys, but you keep going because there's something that you're building and there's a fire on the inside of you that you deploy. That's why you're so excited. Okay, and knowledge doesn't end with this because another thing is you have to understand in business there are new things every time. So you must always retool yourself. Always keep abreast of what is going on. Always educate yourself. Always read up new things that are coming up in your industry. Search on the internet. I mean, you're in the right generation because there's so much, like someone said, University of Google is available <laughs> to all of you. And it's free. It only costs you internet time, you know, always. Just make sure you're not outside of the development in your industry. And even all your Ignite sessions, they're all on YouTube. Yes. Every single episode yes. that we have shown is already on YouTube. And as we show anyone, we immediately put it on YouTube. So you just need to um, search for Ignite TV in Nigeria and you will, you will find it. So you can always go back and refresh yourself. That's, that's why we've done that. Find as many books as are relevant that helps you to learn from the experiences of others that teach you the ways others navigated different situations and that will help you. The other thing is don't be a taker without being a giver. That's why I talk to you about paying it forward. Always invest in the future, invest in the next generation, because ultimately, at the center of what has driven building Ignite as a project is building a country. Because remember what we said on Ignite, we can't be separated from our country. No company in Nigeria can have a rating that's higher than the sovereign rating. Which means if you don't build your country to be the best of itself, no matter how best you build your company, you are limited by how you've allowed your country to emerge. So we all have a responsibility to continue to build our country right. And that's why paying it forward is a part of the project. So that what's been invested in you, you also invest in the next generation or in the next person that you meet. Sometimes it's your peers, sometimes it's people ahead of you, sometimes it's people behind you. But the key thing is that we're focused on building a nation. Do you want to grow your business by selling to people in different ways? We can help with that. First Bank SME Connect. Visit sme.firstbanknigeria.com to find out more. First Bank. Send in your comments, questions, and shoutouts to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash ignatev, twitter slash ignitetvng, and check out our website, www.ignite-tv.com, for extras on Ignite, visit our YouTube account on www.youtube.com slash Ignite TV Nigeria for lots more about the show and lots of useful information on building your business.